We bought the DCX22i from Herco um, because it enables us to work with much, much larger tools, particularly for our automotive and aerospace customers that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. My name's Sebastian, I'm a director at DPS Designs and we are molding tool makers. We specialize in working with the current factionery industry to come up with amazing creative concepts, take them right through towards tooling and molding. We work with the aerospace and automotive industry to do mold making and tool making. We bought the DCX22i from Herco um, because it enables us to work with much, much larger tools, particularly for our automotive and aerospace customers that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So the DCX22i has been really good for us because, well, one thing, it's got a lot of space inside the machine. So we operate with what we might call a bed shift. So we actually um, push something to one side of the, of the bed, machine it, spin it around, push it to the other side of the bed, which enables us to get a longer table length than we might otherwise be able to do. So having quite a lot of space in that direction is, is pretty good for us. But also the fact that the, the doors open right out enables us to get in with big pieces of billet and slide them in in a way that would otherwise be actually pretty difficult. We, uh, we've actually got nine other Hercos um, on site, but we found that we just were losing work because we couldn't take on the bigger work that our competitors could. So we bought this machine particularly to work on larger size projects such as um, anything going up to 2100 by 1600 mil. Um, it allows us to really um, machine much bigger pieces of aluminium billet. We're making press tools, vacuum form tools, compression molding, um, anything that we have to machine aluminium accurately um, to quite a large footprint is something which we can really use as a machine for well. Uh, I'm AJ, I'm one of the operators here at DPS Designs. This is my main machine that I'm operating. Um, there's a few others as well. We kind of share the, um, the operation between machines, but primarily this is my machine that I'm, I'm usually running. The machines are super easy, friendly to use. Um, everything is where you'd expect it to be. Everything's uh, manageable, it's all got user-friendly menus. So one of the reasons why we continue to choose Herco, apart from their customer service, which is excellent, is that the WinMax control is something that all of the guys are familiar with. It's very easy to use, but every time we get a new machine, it's actually the WinMax control as much as anything else, really, that helps us to make that decision because our model of operating is where any of our operators can go from any machine to another machine, and that means they can just jump on a machine, go to another machine, and they're completely familiar with it automatically, and that works really well for us. We've gone for the option of the SK40 spindle. That gives us 12,000 RPM. Um, because we predominantly machine aluminium, we need the higher RPMs um, and the higher feed rates. Um, the SK50 uh, spindle is 8,000 RPM, so it gives us the extra 4,000 to play with. Um, the spindle torque on it is monstrous on this compared to the others. We've got um, the three Herco 50s that we're using. Um, a face mirror operation on those on aluminium puts the spindle load at about 40 to 50 percent. On this, when we're running it, we'll do exactly the same, and the spindle loads only six percent. It is monstrous compared to the others. Well, as a company, surface finish is everything to us. So being able to have a really um, high spindle speed um, is really, really important. Um, this machine actually delivers that brilliantly well. The, the machine finish that we get off quite often requires very little benching. And actually, the, some customers just want a machine finish, so no benching required. And that means you need to really, A, trust it to run night and day. Maybe it might have a 100 hour runtime and just come off looking gleaming at the end of it. And that's really, really important to us. So when you make a decision to buy a new machine, it's really hard to weigh up all the pros and cons. And actually, you never know when it's going to pay itself off. And what you never want to see is a quiet machine, because you mainly made the, the wrong choice. Um, from the first working day after we commissioned this machine, it was busy. And that's because it enables us to do stuff and win work that we wouldn't otherwise be able to win. And the reason why we could make that decision is because of Herco's um, customer service, but also because of their competitiveness on cost and because obviously we trust the quality. And that's enabled us to have confidence going forward to grow our business around taking on bigger jobs, taking on work which we weren't otherwise previously able to do, and that has enabled this machine to pay itself off within the year, really. 
I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. I mean, I love machines, absolutely love machines, but these, they seriously take a lot of hard work out of it. Um, they just make it, they just make it so much more fluid. Um, the, the usability of them, again, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing that we can't do on these machines. Um, that applies to this one, the smaller ones. Um, I'm not phased by anything that comes in, not phased by size. Um, I believe we are looking potentially in the future to get an even bigger one again. Um, again, it, because we know the controls, it'd be exactly the same running. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it.